twins are extremely useful in medical research because they help us answer the age-old question of nature versus nurture. I'm Professor Sam Berkovic of the University of Melbourne. I head the Epilepsy Research Centre on the campus of the Austin Hospital where we have the Melbourne Brain Centre and in that we've got a large uh, clinical research facility where we do some very advanced studies in both uh, imaging and genetics. I've been very interested in the role of uh, twins in clinical research uh, really since the 1980s and we've had a wonderful relationship with the Australian Twin Registry and work with many, many hundreds of twins who've uh, volunteered their time to help us with this. At least some structures within the brain are determined by our genes and by comparing brain scans from identical twins and non-identical twins, we can figure out how much is genetic in terms of determining those structures. MRI is particularly good at showing us subtle changes in the structure of the brain that we're picking up changes that may be relevant to the causation of epilepsy. And twins really help us refine those questions and ask important things of the MRI analysis that we wouldn't be able to ask with single individuals. Similarly with EEG, um, that shows brain waves and the brain waves of healthy identical twins are remarkably similar. And again, by looking at subtleties in the brain waves, we can help determine what factors are in fact genetic, be they physiological factors or disease factors like the occurrence of epilepsy. The way we think about epilepsy has changed completely, the way we classify epilepsy, the way we deal with individual patients, the way we investigate them, um, and that has led in, in many, but not all cases, to sort of substantial in, improvements in treatment. 